everyone, it's Rahanna here, and I am doing something that I pretty much swore I would never do because I just didn't feel like it, and I was frustrated with the idea of not having a complete version of this game to work from ever, no matter what. But I have decided to do a partial Let's Play of the original Gakko in Heaven to kind of go along with my full Let's Play of Gakko in Heaven 2, because there is so much stuff that's referenced between the two games. And I feel like if you haven't seen at least part of the first game, you can't fully appreciate how great the second game is. Not just because the second game is light years better than the first in many different ways, but because they are so connected. There are so many little references in Gakko and Heaven 2 back to the first game. And um, there's, there's characters who cross over between the two of them. There's little events. There's just tiny little things here and there also thrown in. And I think it would just be kind of sad to, to not at least explore a little bit of that and to show at least the quote-unquote true story of the game, which um, is the Kazuki route. Um, I'm actually going to do this um, with the PSP version of the game because it has full voice. The PSP version of the game is very sanitized. It does not contain any of the adult content. So, sorry guys, no no love scenes in here. Um, none of that good stuff. But um, another thing to note is that uh, one of the character roots uh, for Shunsuke, uh, one of the, the younger characters who um, is kind of a sporty kid, rides a bike, and all this stuff, he had a very, very sad story, and he, he was basically being molested by one of the uh, members of the board of directors at the school and um, the guy was pressuring him to, into doing all sorts of things, spying on other students by holding his father's job over his head because the guy kind of has some sort of power over that guy's job and it was just it was just sad, it was horrible but it was also one of the best character roots of the game because they handled it really well it was written very well and just the, the odd relationship between Shunsuke and his abuser was like almost uncomfortably a little too real. And I really liked that. Not, you know, obviously I didn't like that those bad things were happening to him, but I liked the way that they handled that story. And when they sanitized it for the PSP version for the consoles, it just didn't make any sense. Like they just cut so much out and they changed it to from like him being blackmailed to like somehow Shunsuke had gotten another kid expelled from school or some other kid dropped out because of the information he found out about him and it just didn't really have any impact so um i feel like the console versions are inferior in a way because they cut out all that adult type content you know including the nice sex scenes you get with most of the characters but um the console versions have full voice and the original PC version does not. There is absolutely no voice in the original game. And even in the remake of the game that came out, um, well, I guess it's last year now, um, called Gakko and Heaven Mixed Edition, where they took all the extra characters that they added in the PSP version and all the extra CGs and content, um, they, it still didn't have voice because even though there's voice in the PSP version, it would have been weird for them to take that voice, add it into the game, but for all the sex scenes to have no voice. And obviously they weren't going to pay all the voice actors, you know, 12 years later to record all this stuff that they never recorded originally. So unfortunately, Mixed Edition is not a complete edition of Gakko in Heaven. There is no complete version of Gakko in Heaven that includes everything, the adult content, all the CGs, all the voice, everything. It just doesn't exist. So... This is kind of next best thing. This is the best we can do is is play the PSP version because um, I feel like the voice adds a whole lot to the game, and it's it's really necessary for for me to enjoy something because I have such a hard time reading Japanese. I mean, I basically can't. Right? I'm I'm going by the notes that I've taken, and when I need to kind of wing it a bit, I can understand a lot of what people say, but I can't read it. So um, we're going to play the PSP version because it has extra stuff, has voice, and um, I'm really only doing Katsuki's character route. It doesn't lose anything except at the very end with their love scene, and um, I can just tell you what happens with that. 
Um, so, um, also, also one thing to note here, if you look at the screen here, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff here. If you originally play this game, you wouldn't see everything that's listed here. Um, you would have start, load, extra, config, and install as usual. Heaven is uh, the bonus scenario, kind of like the secret character thing, except it's not a character, it's a story uh, that gets unlocked by completing, uh, I think it's the, the five main characters in this game. And then Omake is even more extra for finishing everything, I think. And then there's something that's even more extra after that if you um, if you finish the omake. You get a special scene added into, um, I don't know if it's specifically Kazuki's route or if it gets added just to the game in general. I, I kind of lose track of where the common route cuts off, but um, there's a scene that we'll see when we go through here that you normally would not until you had completed the entire game. And it has to do with Kazuki's uh, club activities. But I figure since we're doing a Kazuki route, um, I'm just going to do the whole thing. Um, one other thing to note about Kazuki's route is that you have to play it through once. And you get a very boring, plain friendship ending, even if you do everything quote-unquote correctly. You have to play through a second time to get his true ending. And we're not doing that either. We're just going to play through his true ending with all the extra stuff unlocked. And that's it. I don't feel like playing this game 16 times to, you know, show the true story of the game. Because, um, Kazuki's story is basically the, the true story of the game. It reveals most of the important stuff. Um, I guess I'll do the, the Heaven and the Omake as well at some point. Um, because they kind of fill in the rest of, of the backstory of the game. Um, other things to note about this game. There are 10 characters you can go after. Unfortunately, only five of them are really major characters, and those are um, Kazuki, Niwa, Nakajima, um, Shichijo, and Sionji. So the king, the queen, um, and then their two kind of tagalongs, and then Kazuki. Um, which is unfortunate because I like a lot of the other characters. They have good stories, but you can tell that they're character roots are really half-assed in some places like especially oh god poor Nadesa I really like him but his, his sex scene basically cuts off like the moment he sticks it in right like there's there's nothing else that's it it's just done it just ends right there meanwhile some of the other ones go on and on and on and on and on in loving detail for like hours right so it's it's kind of sad that you can tell which characters were favored which characters are essential to the story and which ones are not so that's another big difference between this game and Gakko in Heaven 2 where not all the characters are essential to the story in Gakko in Heaven 2 but they all have very well developed stories None, no one seems like kind of an afterthought or their their story was kind of half-assed or oh crap you know games these days have more characters than just five we need to put in some more people um it, it's it's just much more well assembled than this game in some ways but um i don't know the original game has i have a big soft spot for it it was one of the first bl games i ever played i actually played it way back when it was brand new so that just tells you how freaking old i am so don't don't ask questions about that. Um, the real women don't like answering questions about their age. Um, so here we're just going to go through the the prologue of the game, which um, you can skip after the first time you play it. But it has some interesting information about BL School and the Suzubishi Group and all that other kind of good stuff that makes for a good backstory. Um, this game is actually really text heavy. There's a lot of information in this game. And if you kind of skip over it, you miss it. And these are a lot of things that may not have been covered in detail if you've read, say, the comics or if you've seen the anime. God, the anime. Um, yeah. I constantly rag on the poor anime, which is which is kind of sad. You know, it's I'm, I'm really glad that there is one, that the game was popular enough that they created one for it and that they added extra characters in there who are, have been, been plugged back into the game through the PSP version. I do appreciate that there is an anime, but um, just the art style is not very good. And I feel like, you know, by mashing a huge story down into just a few episodes, it loses a lot. And 
yeah, it's, it's just not very good. But anyway, let's let's get going here. We'll just go through the uh, the opening of the game. So as you can see, you have a choice whether you want to watch the prologue or not. We're gonna watch it. Bigumi no Into. Aits Beruri Bati School o mezaste ru dashi ze. All right, so this is the prologue. There's going to be two two kids chit chatting here, and this guy is saying, "Hey, did you know the committee head of B Group wants to get into Bell Liberty School?" Mazi, nani kangaete rin da yo? Really? What is he thinking? Hora, aits te ismo seiseki top daro. Dakara jishin ga arun da yo. Well, he's always getting top grades, so he's pretty confident. It seems like he's desperately studying everything so he can get into that school. <laughs> studying, huh? Well, it's true that he has good grades, but... Isn't it ridiculous? If that's the school he's trying to get into, he didn't do his research. Right, you think so, too. Well, Bell Liberty School doesn't have an entrance exam, but he's studying for one. He really needs to do his research. Right, but it's Bell Liberty School. After all, I wish I could get in. And if you notice there, that character's voice was a little different than the two who were talking. That's actually the first line from Keita, who's the main character of this game. So that's another reason to to go back here. Um, quick quick little shout out to my sister here, who is who is watching my, my Let's Play of the second game. And um, just didn't, had never even seen a picture of young Keita before. So now, now she can... Uh, Get to know him a little bit more. He's not just a derpy teacher. He is a full-fledged character here. Um, not super interesting in Kazuki's route, unfortunately. Um, he's not as consistent as Yuki is. Yuki is always consistently... His personality is the same. He's very selfless, helpful, sweet, kind. Um, Kate is a little different. He is lacking in self-confidence. That's his big problem. And sometimes with certain characters, he really does get to shine, and he has a very Yuki-like personality, especially with uh, Shinomiya, Iwai, and Shunsuke. But with other characters, he's just kind of, eh, you know, he's, he's just an ordinary kid at this amazing school, and he's, he's not confident about it, and it really shows. So unfortunately, sometimes Keita can be a little, a little boring, but um, I, do, I do like him in Kazuki's route. I mean, well... I'll stop talking. I mean, everybody knows the story of, of Kazuki and Keita, basically. I mean, it's one of the most famous BL game stories, but we'll just go through it as if it's brand new. Anyway. All right, so here's this big, long section where there's absolutely no voice, so I'm just going to read my notes to you. So it's Bell Liberty School. It's a boys school, boys school that pours in effort to cultivate the talents of people selected from all over the country who excel in one talent. And the school's graduates have wonderful careers. And so here's some, some guy. He started an event company the year before last, and even in the recession, he soon had a yearly turnover of 50 billion yen. He's called a miracle entrepreneur. And then there's someone else who, at 30 years old, is the young leader of the project that discovered a new type of rocket that was announced the other day. The famous people on the list of BL school graduates have careers all over the world. So obviously you can see this is a great school, and it just keeps getting better. It's a boarding school, but once you get in, everything from your living expenses to your tuition are completely covered for all students. It's a school that's like a dream. And it's managed by the investments of the Suzubishi Group. So the Suzubishi Group. The Bell Pharmaceutical Company forms the core of the group, and there's also the Suzubishi Brewing Company. They also have Bell Sports, which deals in sporting goods, and Bell Foods, which deals in foods and cosmetics. And among other things, there's apparel, the development of medical software, internet banking. It's a group of companies that has expanded across many industries. So they're famous as the sponsor of the Bell Cup in tennis and the Bell Ski Competition that's held every year in Switzerland. And they continue to invest huge amounts of money into things like the Space Development Company, established in the will of the previous president. So basically, these people have buckets of money. So, Bell Liberty School was established as one part of the company business of that Suzubishi group. The graduates aren't limited in their advancement. 
but they're even allowed to get a job in one of the conglomerate's businesses, where it's said that even those who graduate from well-known, top-class universities can find it hard to get into the company. So it's really hard to break into the Suzubishi group, and one of the best ways to do it is to go to their school. So just with that, there's countless people who want to get into Bell Liberty School. But there's only one way to get in. You can only wait for the day when suddenly, without any prior warning, the entrance papers are sent. It's called the Platinum Paper. Since the way to get into the school isn't normal, there's people who don't believe that it really exists, and it's half become an urban legend. But it's real. From a central city in a central part of the country, in a place that takes about an hour to get to by car, it's on a man-made island in a scenic harbor. Bell Liberty School, even today, you can see it shining there. And those platinum papers might even be on their way to someone right now. Tatayma! I'm home! So here's Keita. We don't know his name yet, but you can tell from his voice. His nice high-pitched squeak and the fact that he talks really, really, really fast. Here's his mom. Welcome back. You got an express delivery. Oh, an express delivery? Did I win something again? If it's a ticket for a hotel dinner, be sure to give it to me again. Well, if it's from a hotel. Oh, it's just an envelope. It's so thin, it could just be a postcard. Well, somehow it's a very luxurious envelope. Mom's been waiting expectantly for you to get home. So it seems like Kate's mom is used to being treated to all sorts of great things because her kid has super good luck, just like Yuki. Now see here, you don't know if it's a ticket to a hotel dinner. What is this? You are recognized to enter our school. Mom, this is... I still can't really believe it. I can go to Bell Liberty. And here's Keita's dad. Transfer? Are you seriously going to quit the school you're in now? But it's the platinum paper from Bell Liberty. I absolutely don't want to let this chance slip by. Chance? But you never once said that you wanted to go there. Well, I never imagined that I would get the platinum paper. Well, I have a bit better luck than other people, but that's all. I don't really have any other redeeming qualities. I never even dreamed that I could get, could get into Bell Liberty. But it was a platinum paper. But the platinum paper was sent to me, so I want to try betting on this chance. But... Well, no matter what, I want to go. I know you guys are worried about me, but I want to test my own luck. It's a lucky chance, huh? Well, it's true that you have good luck. Well, it's true that you have good luck. Then I can go? You've already decided, right? So do your best. Thank you. So the sound here is supposed to be Kate on the bus. Uh, Bell Liberty School, I wonder what it's like. Here's the bus driver. Why don't you take a seat closer to, to the front? You'll be able to see the school island soon. Really? Look, you see it, can't you? 
That's the man-made man -made island where Belle Liberty is. Once we go around the next curve, you'll be able to see the bridge. Oh, the bridge. Is it that big one? Well, the bridge itself is about 200 or 300 meters long. But because there's ship traffic around here, it can split in the middle and become a drawbridge. Drawbridge? So doesn't that mean that you can get trapped on the island? Oh, you already know. The bridge isn't lowered very often to keep the students from running away. It's a... <laughs> it's a really brutal education, and locally this place is known as Prison Island. Prison Island? I never heard that. I'm joking. You were so happy, I just wanted to tease you a little bit. Well, that's mean. I took it seriously for a moment. Even though it's Bell Liberty that you aspire to go to? Well, that's true. But I don't really know much about the school except for rumors. Rumors, huh? They must have been good rumors for you to transfer. That's right. Well, the tuition and dorm fees are fully covered and the graduates are all famous. And if you safely graduate, you can work for the Suzubishi group. Anyone would aspire to that. Right? Well, my son's always talking about it. He's jealous of the people who get to go there. Look, it's the bridge. Ah! The bridge! Hey, watch where you're driving. It's fine, it's fine. How many years do you think I've been a driver? I could drive this road with my eyes closed. But you really are happy. It's really rare to have someone transfer at this time, so I was wondering what kind of person would come. But since it's a student like you, it's worth showing you around. So I guess he's kind of implying that maybe some of the kids are not so uh, so friendly. But if you're a student like me, I have No! What's that? The bus is floating? The, the bridge was up? It can't be. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh well, the shortest shortest game ever, right? <laughs> My life is already game over. And I thought I had good luck. So that's the prologue to the game. Um just a brief introduction or not so brief introduction, I guess, to Bell Liberty School and the Suzubishi group. And um yeah, it starts with a bus accident unlike uh Unlike Yuki's story, which starts with him being held at gunpoint by Joker, which I guess really isn't that much better. Um, so um, from here, there there will be the, the actual common route of the game. We'll start, but I'm going to stop here because this is where the actual game begins. And I just wanted to, to do a, a short video, even though it's almost 25 minutes at this point, um, of the opening and everything that's going on here. So um, yeah, this is this will be the first of many videos this this game is actually pretty long but um i will continue with gako in heaven 2 in the meantime i just thought it would be good to have the parallel between the two games and especially the parallel between uh kazuki and tomo because their stories are essential to their games i mean it's not a secret right kazuki's the director of the school so um his story of course is going to be central to to the plot of what's going on 
hear all the backstory. And there's a lot of intrigue and other stuff going on here, just like there is in um, Gakko in Heaven 2, where Yuki has the problems with uh, his armband going missing and not knowing who's, you know, betraying him and, and things like that. And, and Tomo having pressure and the friction between the board of directors and the director and the student council. That's all, that all started in this game. So it'll be interesting, I think, to see what happens in both and to compare. Well, I hope it'll be interesting to you anyway. So I'm going to, to stop here and um, it'll probably be a little while before I upload another one of these. I do want to focus on Gakko in Heaven 2 because that was my original project and I'm definitely going to see that one through. So I hope you enjoyed this little look into the past and um, hope you'll join me next time for more of the original Gakko in Heaven and also uh, continue along with Gakko in Heaven 2. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.